Hello everyone. Happy New Years. Welcome to Rukeshan series again. Yes, finally I decided to continue with my YouTube blogging and I'm going to take you from Pearson Airport Toronto, Canada to Ebel Airport Santa Maria. So you can see the beautiful graffiti here. Love always wins. Yes, indeed it does and color the world probably in colors of love harmony peace brotherhood i really wish that would be the theme of our 2023 so yes some fancy shopping area and this is tilted spheres in pearson international airport terminal one by richard sarah this work was even published in 2007 at Museum of Modern Arts. This is just fantastic. And then you can get into lounge area, the waiting area. Everyone's kind of relaxing. And I always love this view, the huge windows and the planes outside. I really hope I own a plane of myself one day. I really do. Well, this is really neat area. As you can see, you have your iPads and the charging pods next to the bar area. If you want to take a sip or two to just relax. <laughs> that was me having granola bar at the airport oh yeah so now I'm on board and you can see a big ass Lufthansa plane coming along its path Lufthansa it is it's a really good flight I have flew with them really recommended and one of our security or sorry air hostess the plane crew giving our instructions i was kind of really sitting all by myself on these three chairs so i got her good view and here you can see we are on boarding i fast forwarded this because you don't want to really see all the slow process up in the air that's aerial view of Toronto Toronto Canada I don't get those stomach butterflies anymore only thing which bothers me uh, sometimes is the air pressure built up in my ears but not always not really always It was daytime, so all the city was bathing in beautiful sunshine. Oh yeah, by the way, I flew with Air Canada. Air Canada Rogue. That's how their domestic flights are stabilized or categorized as so you can see we are getting closer to the clouds and perhaps I have tilted my phone by now there is something about those cloudy um, soft bubble <laughs> yeah still floating in there oh here we got little turbulence so our crew told to put our belts on so you can see how we were cutting through cutting through the clouds <laughs> because I was traveling with Indian mom so you could see how she packed Baratas for our air journey and of course I had to take job to get along with so 
that was good part of it. Yes, clouds, cheer to you, cheers to you with my child. Now you can see it was about sunset time. It was closer to three to four hours journey up in the air. So what I observed was as we were getting closer, a lot many water bodies would be there. Sunset again. For one point I really thought like are we just gonna land in the sea or what because this area just these were the greens around everything everything was ocean Atlantic Ocean it was scary but mesmerizing view So here we were getting closer to the ground. I was just happy to see a piece of land in the ocean. So now we were gonna go to Aero Pureto Abel Santa Maria Airport and here's the touchdown. Hit it perfect. It was really smooth, really smooth landing. sunset, the orange sky, the blue ocean, white fluffy clouds. Yep, here you can see the wings are trying to resist the air pressure from other side so that we could stabilize. I really love plane journeys. I do. I could even also see purple hint in the sky by now. And here we were. So it was really like this small building and I was like, really? Is this the airport? And the only airport where no one ever asked me to put my phone down. So I literally captured everything I could. Literally, you just get off the plane, open the door, and you are inside the airport. It was really, really, really neat journey. And here's my wink. So please stay tuned, my QVA journey will be resumed in my next upcoming thoughts. Take care.